Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's lecture, we're gonna learn about POST for .NET and we will be doing it for Epson printing. Now, in Epson, they support, they have an OPOS SDK which links with Microsoft POST for .NET and it's create, uh, you can say, help you a lot in doing the printing. Now, the first question comes is, what is the problem with the generic printing? So, though you, a lot of you people have already seen my this video, POST received using C Sharp, fast receipt printing solution. Now, in this video, I have used a generic text printing solution where I have uh, created a provided a DLL with which you can directly print text to the printer. Now there is a lot of limitation come up with that. Now the limitations are first of all you cannot utilize complete page. There will be always margin left on the corners. So you cannot utilize the complete page. Second rotation formatting alignment is very difficult though I have given one more solution for aligning the text but still it is not a right solution because I am just aligning the string in that. So it doesn't work with the images barcode and all barcode and images goes into the center one. Second the barcode sizes are very small when we go with the generic text printing. So it's very difficult to print them in large size especially with the QR code. Second the text barcode is not supported. Now only the barcode you can generate is with number so you cannot have a text in that barcode but if you use the pause for .NET it is pretty easy to do that. Third thing like IntelliSense is also provided with that. IntelliSense means you don't need to remember what font you have to do, what alignment, like you have to type what code for the alignment. You just have like aligned right, aligned left and those kind of things. And the last, not the least, you can do the multilingual printing. Now, multilingual outputs. Now, the thing is your printer need to support it, first of all. Without that, you cannot do it. In my printer case, it's supposed to one uh, Latin, uh, I think it's uh, support Thai language and normal English. So, I'll be having one output to show you how it works. Okay, so let us start. Before that, let me just show you what are the outputs and how you can get them through that. This is the example which I have already printed. Let me just zoom in so that we can look it a little close. Now here I have four receipts prints. One receipt is, it's a normal receipt which has a logo onto it, have some uh, heading text and then we have uh, some like items and your prices and the total amount. And then we have a pretty big barcode and we have pretty large QR. Any uh, uh, like one of you, if you have worked on the generic printing, you know printing this big barcode and the QR, it's not possible in that. So this is the phone output. Second, if you see this barcode here, it is opost for .NET. So this is a text barcode, as I told you in the last slide also. Like it supports text barcodes, like Unicode. And then coming to this receipt. So if you see this receipt, it is a horizontal receipt. It is not the vertical receipt. Now this is the vertical receipt which is going into the flow with the, uh, you can see your paper. So if you see these two receipts, these both receipts are, uh, you can say horizontal receipts. So these are printed on, ro like after rotating the text and output. Now if you have to do with generic printer, no way, it's very difficult. Uh, I have never come up with a solution with that because a lot of text here and there you need to change. But with this pause format, you can just do it without any issue. So here you see, I have printed a coupon receipts. Coupon receipts are like you are providing a coupon to a person and he can come, you can scan it and give the whatever the offer uh, coupon has uh, on it. In the same way like this one, if you have to print a summary for uh, you can say a customer or address. So address should be horizontal, it should not be like a vertical page, a long page of it. So it should be vertical so that you can directly place it on the package or something like that so these are the pretty examples which we need to do okay now when we are doing this pause for that there are some problems like not the actually the problem just it increase your installation effort because when you are installing in previously in generic printing we generally used to install the drivers and we are good to go but as we are now using pause for that we need to install two pause for that one is from Microsoft second is from the Epson okay so let me just show you so this is the Microsoft Post for Net. It's free. You just need to install it. It's kind of a runtime. And second, coming to this one, o OPS ADK for .NET. Now this is from the Epson side. So this guy will not get installed without this one. So this is the main prerequisite. After that, you have to install it. So once you install it, you are good to go. Okay, but it will uh, now as you need a sample for C sharp code and all, and to print these things and all. So now the thing is if you traverse into the C drive they will install this pause for NAT if you double click so you will have a samples 
so in sample for c sharp and vb.net they have provided samples for all of them so this is the one sample which i am using this will contain all like basically it is a 16th chapter of that sample so it contains most of the example what we need for like barcode qr code and everything it is in there so this example on only like you need to refer and you will have all the code now the problem with this is if you just run it it will give an exception it say like device inform cannot be uh, you can say uh, it's unable to open the device uh, let me just show you the error itself it will be easy for you uh, fail to get the device information some error like this now why that error comes is because as I told you like there is a certain effort involved in installation of POS for net first you need to install Microsoft SDK and then you need to set up your printer as well so how to set up the printer you need to just go to the post for net you have to go and set a post open this guy run it as administrator because it need to like when say register some logical names so then what you need to do is you need to just click on this add select like keep it in the same way select your printer version like mine was t81 so see you need to select that next then like usb port if it is a usb port if it is a wireless then you have to configure like network address and all if it is usb just usb and then you have to select the printer in the from this drop down click on next then keep everything same you can change it to south asia it doesn't matter like it says simplified chinese but still it will gonna support english because it's totally on your printer just remember this logical name is very important now this will be used in our program as I told you initially now you need to just get this name like copy this name and replace it in your example so this you can make it later on as per your uh, printer set you can say your configuration or some setting so that you can do a change on fly but here you just need to use the same logical name now let us run our program and see whether we are able to get our device or not So if I press F10 and then here you see I am able to get my device object. Now one thing this program won't r like you can say uh, run till the time your printer is not connected because you won't be able to get the device itself because how SDK works is it's completely occupy the your device and then start communicating with it okay so it will like you can say reserve the device for that now for that coupon printing as I showed you an example there is already an example for the normal printing receipt there is an example this is horizontal printing receipt which I told you for the address and this example is for printing you can say the text barcodes and all so there are different examples available but these are the basics one which I and everyone requires so as uh, there is no code required for, from my side you uh, need it's already in the SDK so in SDK as I told you example 16 you can say printer sample uh, 16 is the one which you uh, feel right for that okay so this was pretty much regarding this guy now regarding the multilingual output I forgot to show you let me just zoom it little bit wait a second I don't know why it screwed up okay let me just zoom it little bit so here you can see I have used Thai language because my printer do support the Thai language so same way and for that also like and let me just show you in the code I don't have to do any extra effort for that let me just go and show it to you so it is in the printer seat yeah so I just oh sorry a little bit scroll up sorry not using my USB mouse so it's giving me a little bit tough time hmm yeah here here I've just placed a Thai language so it automatically printed the Thai so for this you don't need to do any U unicode change or encoding change it's automatically uh, send any font whatever your printer supports so un understand you need to understand your printer will not support all the language it comes like for India they send some other language printer for Hindi there is avail uh, available for Arabic the, the print your printer will be supporting that Arabic otherwise it won't be able to print it so that you uh, think you need to make sure I hope you all understand and what I have we have covered so far so let me just tell you basically the steps what we did was we install the printer driver then we install Microsoft pos for dotnet then pos for dotnet exps and SDK then we went to this path set up pos and we set up our pos so if you have any question you can contact me on my email ID 
this is that is yogesh.mela@gmail.com you can contact me through my whatsapp also i have given my phone number 9023262520 uh, feel free to contact the main thing regarding this is it's easy to do because the code is available that you can refer from the sdk itself but the main thing is you need to use this setup pass otherwise you won't be able to print so the only drawback with this feature is as i already told you we need to do manual configuration so a lot of setup uh, you can say manual configuration come into the play so if you are okay with that like as uh, your client is paying good for that then you can directly use this pos for net because it's providing more functionality you can offer more like coupon printing horizontal printing big qrs and all we, you can provide these uh, services to your client so it becomes very easy i hope today uh, lecture is helpful to you if you have any question please do ping me on my email id i will surely get back to you thank you bye bye